Well, we're currently in the longest government partial shutdown in history, and the effects are being felt across the country. KPAX's Elizabeth Transu was in Browning today and shows us how the people on the reservation are trying to cope. As the government shutdown enters day 31, people across the country are feeling the burden. We service roughly little over 665 individuals and families here a month. Especially on the reservations. But with the federal government shutdown, um, our numbers are starting to increase. Roy Crawford with the Blackfeet Reservation Commodity Program expects numbers to jump significantly. Right now, um, we are estimating with the first wave of uh, furloughs, we're anticipating at least 150. Um, employees. And with more mouths to feed means more food needed to fill these shelves. We did run into a problem of shortage of food because there was a lot of questions that needed to be answered on the national level if the flow of commodities is going to be there, is the inventory going to be there, and as time went by those questions were answered. In fact, Crawford says within the first 10 days of the shutdown, the program had to dip into emergency funds. Per the USDA regulations, we are required to have two to three months emergency stock on hand and we actually dipped into that before a replenishment came so I was a little nervous about that so how early did you dip into that those first 10 days <laughs> we did it it got it got a little scary we weren't sure what was going to happen the commodity program typically receives 30,000 pounds of food a month, but since the government shut down, they've had to ask for 13,000 more pounds to fill their freezers and aisles. What I've told my employees here at the food distribution program is no matter what goes on at the national level, the president level, the Congress level, you know, that's why we elected those leaders to hash out those problems. When it trickles all the way down to us, our focus is getting the food in and feeding the people. And as the possibility of a deal going through on a national level might come soon, Crawford says it will still take time for the reservation to bounce back. The impact will be felt probably over another 30 days to actually get back to normal. In Browning, Elizabeth Transu, MTN News. Crawford tells us the program has enough funds to last until March, but if the shutdown goes until then, they will need an emergency from some help, an emergency help from the government to help get those pantries filled.